Um, so this has always been Dad's passion. He had a vision for the future that at the time that all of the uh, tropics could be powered by ocean thermal energy. By establishing a circuit between two wires immersed at different depths, I'll be able to obtain electricity through the diverging temperatures they experience. Those are the words of Jules Verne in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, bringing up the concept of ocean thermal energy conversion for the very first time. This book was published in 1870. Then 11 years later, it was French physicist Jacques Darsenval who proposed the first technical concept of OTEC. It was his student George Claude who built the first OTEC plant in Cuba in 1930, which generated electricity before it was destroyed by a storm. This is a very short history of OTEC, which has been succeeded by engineers and innovators worldwide for decades. They all believed in and were obsessed with harnessing the ocean to generate clean electricity. Yes, obsessed, like me, like our team, like the 560 members of the Ocean Thermal Energy Association. Now we at Global OTEC are making it happen. One of the biggest challenges to address when generating electricity in the tropics is how to prepare for a mega storm. So we set up Plotec to design an OTEC structure for tropical storm zones. Our goal is to de-risk OTEC in storm prone regions, avoiding the problems faced in the past and promoting a very real change in how small island developing states are powered. Today, we're standing on the shoulders of giants. We have learned so much from the pioneers who came before us. And one person in particular is Don Leonard. Don Leonard was an aircraft engineer with a degree from London University. He served 10 years with the Royal Navy, mainly on aircraft and missile activities, but he was very experienced when it came to marine technology particularly OTEC. He wrote extensively in the ocean field and is a fellow of multiple professional societies, including the Society of Underwater Technology. He devoted his life's work to making OTEC happen. Well, he, he was working for Eurocean in Monte Carlo early in, 90, in the 1980s. That's when it started to get, he, he started to get some real interest in how he could commercialize this. And then after that, probably, up until about 2005, he spent many, many trips all over the world to various potential places, either to try and secure funding or to secure government help uh, to, to get an OTEC plant off the ground. So he was in Hawaii, he was in uh, Diego Garcia, he was in St. Lucia, many, many places, all with a, a view to trying to get this, this passion of his to come to fruition. So with the support of Don's family, we have proudly chosen to honor his name in our project Plotech. Having dedicated his life to promoting OTEC, Don is now remembered as part of current OTEC developments with his name enshrined across our structure. You know, the fact that something is happening, the fact that Global OTEC are now starting to do something, I think he would be all over helping you in any way he could. He was, he was an engineer, he was not a, a commercial person, uh, and therefore anything he could do to make it happen, he would do. And he just needed someone to believe in what he was doing, someone to help him to fund it and to get started. But it was, without question, he could see the future, the, pr the principles that we're trying to operate in now of renewable energy being a huge solution to the energy crisis. Don's contributions to OTEC and marine technology in general have been essential to get us closer and closer to bringing clean energy from the ocean's temperature difference to tropical areas of the world. He would be very proud. You know, this is, this is the point really. It was so sad that he passed away um, before the whole thing came to fruition. In fact, his last ever email he wrote was about the Diego, Diego Garcia potential project. It was that, you know, it was five days before he, he passed. So the fact that you know, it is still a potential opportunity and that people are doing something about it, and even more so that his name is being associated with it now, you know, 16, 17 years after his passing, I think he would be only too pleased. <laughs>